Should I be investing in value stocks right now or should I be investing in growth stocks? What is up everyone? My name is John and this is John Paul Investing. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about the difference between value investing and growth investing. In my opinion, all investing is value investing. At least good investing is value investing. Essentially, you're putting your, your financial monetary energy, you are putting that into something that you believe will create more value than what you started with. What kind of contribution to society will my investment choice and the dollars that I contribute to it, what kind of changes, uh, hopefully positive ones, will that make for the rest of the world? And as investors, of course, we're trying to preserve our wealth. So at some point, we hope to end up with more than what we started with. Traditional stocks are going to be companies that are, you know, pretty popular, but uh, aren't all that uh, exciting for the most part. Stocks like Johnson & Johnson, ConocoPhillips, Phillips 66, Caterpillar, Coca-Cola. Your growth stocks on the other side are going to be stocks like Tesla, Jumia, Roku, Sensonix, uh, Nano Dimension. Growth investing is more defined as, you know, buying something that's not necessarily paying dividends or anything quite yet. Essentially aiming to beat the S&P 500, which is around like 12 to 15% on average. These stocks have high alpha or essentially a lot of value ahead of the S&P 500. New value, essentially. Now, in order to figure out what exactly you're going to be investing in, you have to figure out what your goals are with your investments. If you're the type of person who's very risk averse and you don't like to see your portfolio fluctuate in value, you very much. If seeing a 5% drop in your portfolio makes you uh, essentially cringe, you hurl up, crawl up in a ball and you can't sleep at night, it's probably a good idea to stay away from growth stocks and focus primarily on value stocks and possibly even to get a few dividend stocks in there. So that way you have the income from those dividends. Those stocks will give you that security because you will essentially be getting income from them. Now, if you're a more seasoned investor or you have a little bit more knowledge and are not really concerned about beta or volatility in your portfolio, it would be wise to go for growth stocks because while these will be very volatile, they have a very high potential for uh, increasing in value and really hitting that alpha figure that you're looking for. Like any investment though, these are going to be more risky plays because unlike the value stocks that already have this uh, you know, largely scaled business with proof of concept, a lot of these smaller growth stocks don't really have that yet. So you have to take that into consideration whenever you do place your money in these stocks. For some, the goal here might be that you're just trying to outpace inflation and you're paranoid that you know more dollars are going to be printed and interest rates are going to stay zero forever that could be your speculation if that is the case then it would make very good sense to you know put your money in growth stocks that have a high chance of outpacing inflation and beating the s p 500 generally new technology has outpaced everything in the past investing in growth is almost like becoming a venture capitalist and this would be like investing in uber or facebook before they were even anywhere near the size they are today investing in growth stocks is almost like that but but again, they've been scrutinized a bit by the SEC, but it does not necessarily protect these growth companies from failing. So that's why it's really important that if you're more of an active investor and you like to look for growth companies that have uh, a very high alpha or high growth potential, that you understand exactly what the product or service they're providing and that the company is you know, ran by great founders, hopefully the founder is still in the company, that they have a good financial history and are really responsible with the money that they have that they're using to try and expand the business. As of today, I hold no value stocks and I'm pretty much all in growth, but that is just my risk tolerance. And because I really take the time to try and research everything about the companies that I invest in, are you disciplined enough to not really touch your portfolio despite it being volatile in market value? No matter any business that you invest in, the most you can lose is 100% of your money. And really when you're betting on some of these uh, companies, your research is going to help you determine what chance that company has of going to zero. So if you do your research and you find out that, you know, the, the likelihood of this company going to zero is relatively small or almost non-existent, then you can feel better that that investment, despite how volatile it could be, is very likely it's still going to be there maybe five to 10 years from now hopefully a lot longer if you're trying to retire. So it's important that you build a framework around why you invest in things that you choose to invest in. So that way you're not really an active trader who's just trying to time the market and more so investing because you believe in the companies that you've already done the research on. So between growth and value, if you're investing in growth, your goal is to essentially be outpacing the S&P 500 and looking for as much alpha as possible. You don't care about dividends, you care more about the upside. Value investing, you're investing in the already existing history in the business, you're investing in that already existing proof of concept, and you're investing more for security essentially. This is the more security and less risk investing route. Of course, you can always mix and match both together. It is entirely up to your risk tolerance and what kind of time you're putting into the research. 
And as far as diversifying once you choose your investment strategy, well, that's for a different video. But guys, the main takeaway I wanna give you is that no matter which way you go in investing in value or growth, you want to get started investing as soon as possible. Because what you have right now that you really don't think too much about is time. And once the time goes, it is not coming back. And that's how you should frame your mind around investing. If you'd like to know exactly when I buy or sell specific stocks that I talk about here on this channel, go ahead and check out the Patreon link in the description. There's a limited number of seats available. So I recommend you check that out sooner than later. And also don't forget to claim your two free stocks from Webull. All you have to do is check out the other link in the description, open an account with them and deposit $100. You will get your two free stocks, which you can then sell and then do whatever you want with that money. So make sure to check out the Patreon and the Webull link in the description. Let me know in the comments if you are a growth or value investor. Just leave the word growth or leave the word value. And if you'd like, leave a comment as to why you picked what you picked. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you're watching, make sure you hit that like button. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.